Hi guys. Recently, Super Mario Logan has announced that SML and SLL are going to be deleted. He didn't announce that S that Super Browser Logan is going to be deleted though, but he probably will soon. And I stick to my little blanket on my bed. And I'm personally, I'm really hoping that Nintendo will eventually stop being a little bitch and fix the problem that they've been doing. And stop sending the stupid, dumbass, mother freaking cease and desist letter. Seriously. Logan isn't, Logan 38 isn't the only one I got. Other other YouTubers did too. Granted, I don't know them, and they're, and whenever we Google Nintendo sending cease and desist letters, the only ones you can see are the ones that Super Mario Logan got. Alright, also I really hope that whenever we do get it settled with that Nintendo stops doing this shit, I hope that Logan has most has a good chunk of the videos archived. Like, um, all of the junior era episodes. Like, you know, the all the videos from like twenty fourteen and later. About around the same time as the Pokemon series and the uh, um, junior summer school and, and first grade episodes. Not to mention um, Jeffy's mother, which had reappeared, which had an appearance in the episode that um, Jeffy and Junior go to prison. But I don't want to see these episodes go away. And sometimes I cry. I just. I don't want this to happen. I just don't. It's 2021. Why can't Logan be here to stay? Nintendo needs to grow up. That's all I got to say. Well, actually, I think I'm going to think of more. Copa is also a main key in this too. They need to be an extra spot, somewhere between the kids and the adults for teenagers. You know, they need something right there. Or hell, just put our ESRB. Get the ESRB. Get the ESRB rated. Or maybe not necessarily. Yeah. Like, like they get the ESRB here, and they can like implement a little system. You select which one your target audience is for. And instead of doing them strikes. Just correct it for them. If it's like, it turns out that like, oh, this is marketed um, immature, but it seems like the audience is kind of somewhat gets as well. So we're gonna market it for teeth teens instead. Just do something like that. I mean, come on. Seriously. It's simple. We also need to somehow get rid of Copa. Since our Copa has been raping everybody since 1999. Something like that. Somewhere in the 90s. And, and it didn't start getting to the YouTube until around 2020. And they've been raping us since then. And before that, we sure got TikTok and stuff. I don't know. Vines, whatever. Copa is a little too strict. Remember that FCC episode of Family Guy? We haven't even learned anything from that episode at all, Family Guy. I mean, come on. Game Theory uploaded an episode of Luigi about Luigi's dong. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Adult Swim did it too. Is Nintendo gonna sue them? Hmm? And also, you can't copyright the name Mario. I see Mario Logan is changing Mario's name to Marvin. Oh, what the heck? I could have sworn to God that um Mar that the name Mario, the character, was named after a janitor at Nintendo at that time. I don't know if he's still a janitor today. He might not even, he might not even be alive. Mario is an actual real name. You can't copyright the name Mario. Like, yeah, you can change. Like, you should be able to keep the name Mario even, you know, you know after he switches to normal puppet. Which he did do. But you didn't keep the name Mario when he switched to normal puppet. 
At least Junior, Joseph, and Cody are still the same name. Granted, it could probably because Bowser because Junior is Junior. Well, he's not saying Bowser Junior at all, so I guess it's my idea later. But it kind of it's kind of hard to tell the characters are saying. For some reason, Joseph developed a freaking foot fetish. Like, what the hell? Why do you need that? It's hard to tell if Cody is still Cody. Oh, and when they re-uploaded and remade um, the energy drink episode, the um, the Bowser Jr.'s All Nighter. I think it's just Jr.'s All Nighter now. Um, the scene where he's peeing on his clothes is missing. Like, whatever happened to that scene, it's nowhere in there. I guess it was just like trim it down because I guess it was unnecessarily and I guess it was a filler. But it's gone. It's all gone. It's not there. I guess archive or shit, I guess. Something that pretty much a lot of people can probably do, and that includes Nintendo. Nintendo also pulled these excuses about the racial stuff, which, by the way, technically, with the some of my other YouTubers said that that Nintendo was, that SML is racist because of the inward thing. Just because, and he mentioned Ruth Ravel, but then he said, "Well, since when was Ravel the voice of every single black character?" Which is stupid, because obviously that means that sure, Lance's voice is a voice of Black Yoshi, but because of Lavelle, that means technically. They, there's a possibility that they have the inward past from them, from him. Nintendo also used the excuse about the mental disabled. Personally, I have a, I have, I'm on the autism spectrum, so and I'm okay with this. I mean, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, South Park pretty sure threw the R word a couple of times, and come on, I mean, seriously. It's a show. It, it means absolutely nothing. Just, just let it stay. Just let's entertain and everything. It's a really great show. I like, I'm okay. Now, I'm okay. Personally, I'm, I'm okay with those puppets. It's just the, the cha name changes from Mario to Marvin is really what gets me. And the fact that they have to delete all the previous videos is... <laughs> I'm dying. Sometimes, when I'm bored, it it's keeps me entertained. Sometimes, it's there. It's, it was always there for me for the past few years. Now, I even watched it back in 2016, but then it stopped because I was afraid I would get in trouble. And I caught similar to when I stopped watching it, when I stopped watching it, so I was afraid to get caught. And even then, I couldn't even watch Fluffy. I just watched the scenes. But yeah. I really hope that soon Nintendo sends an apology letter to SML at some point, and everybody else. Hey guys, it's just this letter. I don't know who else did. I think everybody. I think the, I think the only other people that got season this letters are like like parody game creators, like fan games and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I really hope we. Get past this and fix everything before this month's over. You know, before the deadline for the division comes. 